So, as a lot of you guys would have heard in the footballing world, the Paul Pugba situation has escalated and has come to an end in court. Paul Pugba will be appealing it, but they have stood firm on the four-year sentence for doping. We're going to read Pugba's statement right here, right now. He has come out and say, I have today been informed of the Turbine National Anti-Doping Decision, the Italian Anti-Doping Decision, and believe the verdict is incorrect. I am sad, shocked, and heartbroken that everything I have built in my professional playing career has been taken away from me. When I am free of legal restrictions, the full story will become clear, but I have never knowingly or deliberately taken any supplements that violate anti-doping regulations. As a professional athlete, I would never do anything to enhance my performance by using banned substances and have never disrespected or cheated fellow athletes and supporters of any of the teams I have played for or against. As a consequence of the decision announced today, I will appeal this before the Court of Aberration for Sport. So Paul Pogba, the Court of Aberration for Sport, he's going to go and appeal it, but they have stood firm on the four-year sentencing. They basically found him guilty of doping. Now, Pogba came out in this statement and said that he didn't know that he was doing the doping stuff. Honestly, guys, let, let's keep it a buck, right? These guys are playing at a top level. They're playing at a top level professionally. He is not the only one doing this stuff. I like he's the one that's getting the most traction and shine on it because he got caught in it. But he's not the only one doing this, guys. I pretty sure I heard something come up with Liverpool having some stuff, Man City. He, he, bro, there's so many players probably doing some type of enhancement or whatever. Like, like let's get real. Even in other sports as well, it don't matter. You know, this kind of um, goes into the Lance Armstrong thing as well because. Lance Armstrong, he swore in the court or whatever. He said that he didn't dope, um, do any doping or whatever or take any um, performance-enhancing drugs. And then it came out, his friends or whoever, I think that's what the story, his friends snitched on him or whatever. And then, yeah, they ended up taking all his medals and stuff away. So it, it, it kind of falls in that category a little bit with this Paul Pogba situation. But they're throwing the book at Paul Pogba. And I think it's very, very, it's, it's a bit harsh. Four years is a long time. I know people look at that, well, he's easy to cheat. He deserves Four years is a long time. Andre Onana did doping as well, I'm pretty sure, when he was back at Inter Milan before he came to Manchester United. And I think he got 12 months. Um, like I said, and uh, Onana, Pug, but these guys are the only, I'm telling you, man, these guys are playing at a top level. I, I saw Garnacho, somebody tweeted a picture. He had his knee wrapped with ice. He was walking around. These guys are in pain. They're hurting. They're playing every three days, every three to four days. There is, they're definitely doing stuff behind the scenes, and people just don't know. Even I don't know. I'm not in it. I'm, I'm not a professional footballer. I don't know. But behind the scenes, there's probably so much more that goes on, and people just look at the outside, but they don't look on the inside and actually know what's going on. They're just talking. That's what a lot of people do in today's time. It's just a lot of talking, you know? But it is what it is, man. Like, we will see what will come from this public situation. I think they'll reduce the ban when he goes and appeals it because I, I think four years is a bit a bit high. But they just threw the book at him. They, they, this is basically an example. They're basically setting an example out with Pogba. If Pogba can get four years, then all of you are susceptible to getting high um, sentences if we find you guilty of doping. This is basically what this is. Just like with Lance Armstrong in the biking scene or whatever. But I'm pretty sure they still do it to this day, even with the Tour de France or whatever. You can't tell me there's not other footballers doing this stuff. Please. Like, let, let's get real, man. Let's get real. But, yeah, Paul Pug would done a bit harsh, man. I'm not going to lie. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a harsh sentence. Four years is a long time for a footballer. And, obviously, Pug would build up his career and reputation, playing at the likes of Manchester United, Juventus. And that's just a few to think of, man. It's, and it's wild to think that Pogba was on the top of his powers. He won the World Cup in 2018. He was doing his thing. Wait, he was in that World Cup squad. He, yes, yes. I had to think back for a second. But, yeah, the thing he came from winning the World Cup, playing at Man United in that dream team with Ronaldo Greenwood. Bro, he had the squad. And, and the thing, he's in this little sticky situation right here. And then he had the... Um, back, I think it was, what, a year or so ago, the, the, the his brother put witch doctor on him or something. It was, it was some crazy stuff. Pugba, I don't know what's going on on Pugba's camp, man. It seems like, you know, he's going through it a little bit, man. But that's how it is when you're at the top of elite sport, man. This is this is just how it is. But please, man, don't don't think that Pugba, Onana, any, any of these few guys that they bring out to the media are the only ones doing this stuff. You know, because they did find Pugba. But don't think these guys are the only ones. Trust me, there's a lot more going on behind the scenes than people think and know. And Pogba is not the only one doing this. He's just a big name that got caught. 
So I want you guys to let me know down below what you guys think of the verdict in the situation. Do you think it's done harsh? Do you think it got done harsh? Or do you think it's fair? I would love to hear your comments down below in the comment section of what you think about this. So we will now you guys smash the like button, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'm out. Peace out.